evening and welcome once again to Gaming Under the Influence. I'm Mike here with Alex Company from Green Dragon CVR and Woodbridge to talk about video games. How are you, buddy? Ooh, I'm doing pretty good, man. How are you? I'm not so bad. Enjoying the current console generation, unlike some people. Oh, apparently. man. I am all about this current console generation. Yeah, me too. Playing all kinds of... Me too. Some of the best games, I think, that have come out ever. I think in equal proportion as I detest the people who make them, I like the console generation. You know? True. And funny that that's funny that how that's it is the now, case. Yeah. yeah. And I think that that's okay, but... Yeah, that's fine. You know, some people have been saying online and elsewhere, like the gentleman who wrote the article before us, that this has been the worst console generation ever. And he says, scroll down a bit if you don't mind, yeah. that he's not being hyperbolic. It's been the worst generation he's experienced because more than last gen, this console cycle is oversaturated with remakes, remasters, and especially cross-gen titles. Well, the dreaded cross-gen The dreaded cross-gen. He's owned a PS5, he says, since launch. But he still has trouble, and this is important, justifying its existence since there are so few current-gen titles available for the system. His problem, in other words, with the PS5 he's purchased is that there mm -hmm. are very few things he can only play on that machine and not anywhere else. Yeah, it sounds like a weird, like, cult mentality where he's like, you know, yeah, I think we I want to be a little bit about that, don't just you? Play the stuff. It seems, it seems like a strange way to judge the merit of a time period during which video games released. Mm -hmm. To me, yeah, true. Yeah. So I think that you know we're bringing this up because this is pretty characteristic of how these complaints usually unfold on YouTube, on Twitter, and elsewhere. Yeah. When people are complaining about this console generation, usually they're saying, "There's few things I can play on the $600 machine I bought exclusively. I can also right. play them on things I already had. Therefore, I'm dissatisfied as a consumer with my purchase." You know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's uh, the argument there. Yeah, I think uh, in the first place we could point out that you know your issues as a consumer are not tantamount to any problems with the art you're addressing with your complaints so we're going to come back to that one but in the first place don't you think it's kind of silly this whole mentality in so far as build diversity a game with build diversity you know mm -hmm. the existence of a lower spec build what do you think it implies about the existence of the higher spec build <laughs> If you uh, have to absolutely guess. nothing not much not much which is funny because that's also been a thing on the pc you know in the pc space forever but yeah, it's forever. never been a contending issue right yeah. it's just the way it is you have pc there's low spec and there's a high spec there's me the most high-tech games whatever. in the yeah. world in fact run on the best pcs on the best incredibly PCs, high yeah. spec that far exceed your console right and they also run on but they also PCs scale probably worse than your console too yeah and what does that tell us about the high spec builds literally nothing it tells us maybe something like the software engineers are competent enough to ensure that the game can run on a diversity of hardware mm -hmm. configurations, but it doesn't tell us anything about the optimal build. It doesn't tell us that it's somehow inferior because it runs on, you know, you can go into your, you can go into any game on your PC and adjust the graphic settings. It that's doesn't right, imply yeah. anything about the high quality build. I guess that's the point I'm trying to make here. So what does all this mean? That the guy's complaints can only be consumerist. You know, he's upset with his purchase, but it can imply nothing about the technological quality of the games. And I think this is borne out in many titles, mm -hmm. not least of which I mean, the ones he lists, but the fact that there are high tech builds is not jeopardized by the existence of low tech ones. So yeah, exactly. Like when you point out like, you know, a game like Elden Ring that runs on both generations, I mean, how incredible is Elden Ring? You know, it does look really even good, yeah. technically, like I'm, I'm surprised that it blows me away that it runs on last gen. Or but it does. Like, it uh, doesn't take like away from it. Stranding yeah, true. Right Death there. Stranding. Yeah, a souped up build that really does look practically photo. It's amongst the best looking games ever made, easily, right? For sure. Yeah, and like you said, that the existence of the you know PS5 or PC port doesn't negate, you know anything what about the, build, the quality the of the game is, yeah what what the characteristics of the optimal build are right so yeah, yeah that that seems to be the most uh, salient issue here that mm. this guy's inferring because it doesn't only run on my current gen console therefore it must be what worse technically or something like that yeah, and if you're not know. saying that all you can be complaining about is that you're upset about your purchase which means nothing about the games at all no you know you, you can be upset then fine nobody's going to challenge you on that but to infer right. that i can play it on other things therefore the optimal build on my highest end hardware is inferior this is obviously a bad inference it's not yeah it just doesn't right? make any sense feels like you're, you're unfairly like discrediting uh the games because the games because of your dissatisfaction as a yeah. consumer with something yeah right i don't I, t it seems almost not even worth saying that those kind of consumer-based concerns are petty and, to my estimation, deserving of contempt. I don't even care to talk about it, to be honest with you. Yeah, that's fair. But it reflects very little, if at all, on the quality of the games this guy is saying he's dissatisfied with. 
it doesn't say anything about the high tech build that there's a low tech one too. And so your dissatisfaction with cross gen titles is at least on that count, mm -hmm. it's precluded. It doesn't matter, right? Yeah. Yeah. I think that so materially, I guess I'm trying to say this guy is wrong. But on the other hand, like even if it did imply that the build quality of current gen games is worse or that mm -hmm. they're technically inferior to what they would have been if they were current gen exclusives, why should we care about this? Why is this the ultimate criterion of if this has been a a good generation yeah i mean the only thing i i can think about is uh you know uh, when they make a game that they say is you know technologically only possible on this new console and then like i guess that unlocks something in this guy's brain that makes it oh well you He's know this game consumer, yeah right? this I mean, game yeah. is only possibly played on the ps5 so like you know it's, what does uh, it say about the it, game? It, it, maybe it gives the, the system, like, it justifies its existence. No, it does. Like I, I saying, don't right? yeah. That's <laughs> totally true, but what does it imply about the game? Nothing, probably. Nothing. I mean, perhaps it implies problems in development. The game they try to wrestle with perfecting something for a for a unique or idiosyncratic piece of hardware. We've yeah. heard all kinds of stories like that, right? Could People be developing for like the PS3 architecture and having trouble with it because of its uniqueness. Fair. You know? Yeah. I don't think it implies anything about the technical quality of the game that it is developed solely for a certain piece of hardware. I guess yeah. I'm trying to say, right? Yeah. But even if it did, like, who cares, man? What does that mean about the quality of the games that they are or are not? technologically what you imagine they should be yeah is is really the point then i feel the games aren't technologically what they would have been if they were exclusive therefore this console generation is bad you haven't even told us about the games they are referring to as bad yeah what what about the cross-gen it's it's astounding that yeah the, some this... of these cross-gen titles are some of the best games that i've literally have ever come yeah, out like that... i said elden ring is amazing it's, it's i'm playing through it right now and the dlc it's the most incredible freaking yeah. thing i've probably ever played that seems like, that seems like the point here right this <laughs> this cross-gen generation yeah. has been the best generation of gaming in human history yeah yeah stage, you know so I don't understand the nature of these complaints, even if they were valid at the level of material considerations, mm -hmm. which I don't think they are. Even if they were, they don't make sense at this level, because even if things are technologically inferior, which they're not, again, they're still some of the best games ever made. Yeah, but like challenge that hardware wise, we're at a point where, you know, the technology isn't uh, making leaps and bounds like you used to also like, you know, yeah. we live through the age of going from 2D to 3D, something like that is going to blow your mind. But like True. that doesn't exist anymore, no, right? But still 2D games are coming out and sometimes True. they're some of the best games True. ever made too, right? Like, yeah. What about games like Octopath? Is that not a cur What if it only came out for PS5? What, what would well, that make it, right? That's then that's a this good point. Game yeah. graphics from 30 years ago but it's only coming like you know in this guy's mind i bet he'd say i'm satisfied with my purchase this is a current gen game right <laughs> uh, yeah, you see yeah. the, the the ridiculousness <laughs> of that position it doesn't yeah. make any sense we should judge the things on their merit as games yeah which can have varying technological matter you can of say course, whether yeah. they're high tech or low tech they have photorealistic graphics and like that heavily, since day one yeah heavily uh, stylized graphics it's mm -hmm. whatever is suitable to expressing that idea that's what matters yeah, but exactly. at the end of the day whether or not it is in supposing the argument is purely exclusive games would have been higher tech that doesn't mean they would have been better and it doesn't mean these ones are worse right again i don't agree that that means they would have been more high tech but supposing they were it doesn't imply this console generation would have been better. no it doesn't not mean they all, would have right? been better at all that's yeah. absolutely true and, and funny that he i know he mentions it in the title that you know these seven games almost save it but the games he lists i would probably buy a ps5 for maybe even one of them you know he, he lists astro's playroom which was a neat free game that was included with the system i think um demon souls remake i would buy a ps5 he just these as, a, as a number of uh you know current gen titles but yeah incidentally they're all going to be running on pc soon that's true where too. you're going to be able also, to play them on yeah. a variety of hardware configurations which, which makes all this, your console yeah. and worse yeah it makes just, this whole thing move right that's the entire just, point just right validates like, everything it does the, the the quality of the game doesn't correlate with its uh technological advancement yeah know, uh, basically the point stands like you no. said yeah yeah that, that doesn't stand but again i there's two points here then you know on the one hand, something being cross-gen doesn't imply it even will be technically inferior because there can be high-spec builds and low-spec builds. Mm -hmm. But supposing it did imply that that game would be technologically inferior, it doesn't mean that game is worse. It can yeah. still be a better game than something that looks photorealistic or runs exclusively on this or that hardware. That's why talking about things in this manner, this is the worst console generation ever. The most you could be saying is I'm dissatisfied with my purchase, but it doesn't imply anything at all about the quality of the, the games, games exactly. that have come out in this period. And I guess I'm talking since 2020. Mm -hmm. That to me is when this generation started, right? Yeah. Eighth gen concluded, ninth gen began in 2020 yeah. when we got our PS5s and started buying games for that instead of for PS4, right? But 
the important thing to consider is that in that period of time, some of the best games have come out. And I think that... Yeah, that shouldn't be overlooked. That's, no, you know, it shouldn't. Just because they are on more systems, which funny enough is what also people claim is another consumerist thing that yeah. you should abolish all exclusives because yeah. everything should be available to everyone everywhere at all times. Even <laughs> then, know? consider that a number of these games that I'm referring to that have come out in recent years, they're for consoles like Switch, like Xenoblade Chronicles 3. It's one of the best games that came out in recent years, if not ever. True, and that, what do we like, make of that? Te te technically, that's not even close to like what a next-gen exclusive would be, no, or now current-gen, you know, a PS5 exclusive yeah. could, you know, uh, be above and beyond in... Yeah, you know, graphics and presentation. Yeah, look at like Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, let's say, versus Xenoblade. But Xenoblade is equally as good of a game. Absolutely, you know, the, if not the, better the, in many ways. If right? not better, yeah, I think probably. It's better than many of the games on this guy's list, that's for sure. True. Including things like Stellar Blade, including Final Fantasy XVI, even including Rebirth, right? Yeah, it just negates, better. It negates the, the, you know, the technical. Yeah, the, the logic of this argument yeah. is skewed. It's, it's, yeah. it's designed to justify consumerist concerns. Consumerist, you know? yeah. Which, the quality of uh, the art is being judged relative to your satisfaction with your purchase, and yeah. that's, that's incoherent to my yeah. estimation. If we look at things like that, it's been the worst generation for people who bought stuff. Maybe you could say that, but I don't care about that point. No. If you look at things from the quality of the games that have come out in the last four years, it's very easy to say this Some has been... the best games, and we're playing yeah. the best builds on either the yeah. PS5 or a top-end PC. It's, yeah. it's all good. As long as it runs, yeah. we're happy. And you know what, man? I think there's a connection with these games being the best games, some of the best games that have ever come out, and with the decline of console exclusivity. You know, I think yes, the reason yeah, why, that, yeah, 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 the reason why people have been able to make some of the best games ever, as you see in so many instances, you know, from Kojima and Miyazaki to guys like Yuji Horii, you know, we have a, a big list of these we mentioned before, but there's a number yeah. of people who've positioned themselves in the at least Japanese video game industry where they have both creative and financial control That's right. of their own production process. You know? Yeah, they're so, sort of free to play the field. And that's right. Sign yeah. with any... Sometimes they even have unique funding arrangements yep. like FromSoft yep. does with certain publishers. So the net result is they're no longer owned by a console manufacturer whose primary interest is developing tech demos to sell hardware, mm -hmm. which can often, as we've seen recently, of course, <laughs> jeopardize the quality of the game. Yeah. A lot of dump truck stuff has come out oh, based yeah. on that model of design. So yeah. what we have here instead is people designing things for the merit of their own work, usually financially and creatively control of, in That's control right. of that work. And of course, what's their incentive other than somebody giving them a pile of money to make it exclusive anyways right yeah everybody's gonna push for uh for build diversity in that case and again it's technologically yeah. possible why would you not why not you know? yeah exactly you're so, gonna release it on one console and then you're gonna release it on everything and i think the very reason this guy says it was the worst console generation is the reason it's been the best because the separation of a publisher and developer has almost been like the separation of church and state, you know? Yeah. You can pursue, the developer can pursue his own interest unencumbered by the financial considerations that the publisher wants to impose on him, except on those terms that he himself agrees to. Right? Yeah, exactly. There's there's more negotiating there yeah. and they can they can work under their, you know, yeah. their own terms, like you said, you know, That's they right. sign a deal, like a publishing <clears throat> deal on a game by game basis. Yeah. You know, they can either that or deals, like you said, either that or where they're owned, like Katakawa Corporation owns FromSoft, but Miyazaki's the president of FromSoft and right. directs its financial and uh, and creative interests alike, right? Yeah, so yeah. this is important uh, when you're thinking about something like making a video game. Otherwise, you very well could be made an instrument of the console manufacturer to the detriment of your own work. We see this happen all the time. Once again, look at, you know, we were just talking about Bungie firing mm -hmm. a bunch of people, their game going to trash. Xbox, how many how many projects has it murdered in the oh my past God. few years? It, console exclusivity is not a good thing. And it's no, precisely it's because this guy is dissatisfied with his purchase that we've been getting so many good things, in my opinion. You know? Yeah, that's yeah. fair. Funny how we came full circle on that. Yeah. But yeah, I agree. Yeah. yeah. I guess in summary then, you know, the fact that something is cross-play, that it can run on new and old hardware, doesn't imply that the higher spec build for the new hardware is worse. Yeah, it doesn't, you know. Yeah, I, think, I think everybody agrees about that in, insofar as, you know, there are PC builds of the same games very frequently that run better than the console builds, yep. and those same builds can run, sorry, those same PC versions can run on worse hardware too, True. a lower spec build. So nobody really believes, I don't think, that uh, cross-play devalues the game objectively mm -hmm. it just makes you feel bad about buying something i think yeah that's, that's potential but, who cares but you shouldn't because yeah. you're playing some of the best games ever on that's right. one of the best machines out there that's right and yeah that that's that's like the second video point, games right? that's you, it it's good that's yeah. the second point it doesn't even matter if you were right about the technological uh, quality of the games because they're still some of the best games that have ever come out yep it's not uh it's not 
reasonable or objective to define the quality of the generation based on your uh, disappointment with your purchase. Yeah, I agree. And I think like we just said, uh, tangentially, perhaps the reason why the games have been so good is precisely because there's no more console exclusivity like we used to yeah, see. Yeah, much less first party. Yeah. First party stuff sucks. Developer nowadays. independence is what we should desire at all economic scales. That's of right. Right. That's right. Yeah. I tell you, we can talk more about that next time. I think yeah, that's I a think good place so. to cut it off. Thank you guys very much for tuning in and take care. Yeah.